Welcome back to the workshop. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode. You might have noticed there is quite a bit of echo in this room, not surprisingly since it is a fairly small room with a lot of bare surfaces, just like that big wall behind me. So today I thought we could make some sound panels to hang on the wall behind me, trying to better the acoustics in here and also to give that boring gray wall behind me a bit more personality. Thank you so much for tuning in, let's get started. So when making the enclosure for my 3D printers in the last episode, that one right there, make sure to check that episode out if you haven't seen it yet, link right there. I used a couple of these insulating sheets right here to insulate the sound coming out of my enclosure for my 3D printers. So they come with this thin foil on top of them, which I guess is to insulate from heat. But if you peel that off, underneath, we find this texture that I really like. So it turns out that this material doesn't only look good, but also has some pretty good sound absorbing capabilities. Which we can test by listening to the difference in my voice now, versus if I pull this thing over my head. And you can hear how differently my voice sounds right now, because all the sound is just absorbed in the material around me. So my plan is to use a couple of sheets of this foam and create some sort of decorative wall panel that we can hang on the wall behind us. I'm not expecting it to fix all the issues with the sound that I have in this space, but it should definitely be a step in the right direction, as well as adding some more characters to the pretty boring wall behind me. So I played around with a couple of different designs on my computer here, and the pattern that I ended up choosing was this honeycomb style pattern. I ended up choosing this pattern because I think it looks good, but also because it consists of only straight lines, which should make it pretty easy to cut out. I went ahead and printed out just a one-to-one -one size picture of that shape, which I'm now gonna glue onto this thin sheet of plywood, then I'll cut that out on the bandsaw and use it as a guide to cut out all my pieces of foam after. That way I can assure that all the pieces end up being the same size. Using my plywood template, I cut out as many pieces as I could get out of the foam that I had. And now we can start to finally see how all these pieces will come together. So these pieces will all be sitting right next to each other. And since I used a couple of different thicknesses of foam, together with the fact that all these sheets of foam seem to have a bit of a different mixture of colors in them, that will give us a nice variation, hopefully look really good on the wall as well. These sheets of foam have a layer of this sticky tape on the back side of it, so I guess we could just call it right there and we could stick them straight on the wall. The only problem is that this, the sticky stuff is really only meant to be stuck onto things and never ever taken off of it again because it leaves this super nasty and sticky residue. And I'm not too keen on ruining my walls if I ever want to take this stuff off again and I bet you don't want to do that either if you choose to recreate this project. And my idea to fix that is to take a sheet of MDF, which I've conveniently got right here, and stick these pieces onto the MDF so that I can hang the MDF on the wall just like a picture frame. So I've used a couple of printouts as a template and laid them out in a configuration like this. That is so that we don't need to make that many individual back plates for each and every piece of foam. And I found that this shape gives me a lot of flexibility and being able to vary the final shape that we'll end up with on the wall. I'm gonna start with cutting out around this template here first, and then I'll use this piece that I cut out as a template for the other ones. It should make about 10 of them. And onto those, we can then stick our pieces of foam.
finally, that was all the cutting done. I also went ahead and painted the edges white. I think that will give a nice contrast against the gray wall. I also drilled a little hole in the top here to hang them, more on that later. So the next step now will be to stick these pieces of foam onto the boards that we just made. Making something that roughly looks like this. And once we've got all of that done, it's time to hang them on the wall behind me. That just about finishes up this wall. This is the last panel to hang. I very simply just used some good old fashioned nails and hang them in this little hole that I drilled earlier. And to make sure that everything hangs straight and up against the wall, I used some sticky tack, the same kind of stuff that you would use to like hang a poster on a wall, in the corners of the piece right here. That way I can very easily hang it on the nail like this and then use the sticky tack to make sure that it's securely fixed against the wall. So it's securely attached to the wall and if I ever wanna take it back off again, all I'm left with is that little hole from the nail. Well, that basically sums up this project and although it might not have fixed the echo entirely, I think it helped a little bit. Regardless, I am really happy with the way this has turned out. The fact that I made bigger sections with multiple tiles attached to one backboard made it fairly easy to attach them and hang them on the wall and it still gave me a ton of flexibility to make a layout that I liked. Although I did make a few pieces that were just single tiles so that I could have a little bit more freedom with the arrangement of this. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. I've got a ton of new cool projects planned, one of which is gonna be really tackling the acoustics in here. But as for now, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.